In this video, we are going to cover how to build a simple drag application using open source models. We are going to provision open source model via Olama. And as you can see on your Spring Air documentation, there is certain section under chat model API, which would tell you how to get started with Olama. We have to define all this property in our code. So the default model, which is going to be used is Mistral over here. So you can check the default values of all these properties. Even if you're not defining it, then it's going to refer all these default values. And here you can see there are different models which are supported by Olama. So you pick and choose open source model based on your requirement. So let's go to this Olama website and see like what kind of models are over there. So this is how the Olama website is going to look like. If you want to check for the models, then you can check it over here. They do have different open source models and we can just pick any of the models based on our requirement. So when we are building a RAG application, we need two kind of thing. One is chat model and another is embedding model. In this video, we are going to use open source model for both cases. We can choose any of the model from here so let me just check llama 3.2 and you can see like it's coming with a different version here there is a 1b and then there is a 3b you also have to keep in mind the ram of your system so you do not want to install very big model which is not being supported by your machine you can choose model based on your machine's capacity if you just scroll it down then you can see all the details about these models like what kind of capabilities are going to be provided by these models and how we can run it so the model is available in two sizes as of now this is going to be your default model 3b parameter parameter and if you want to go with this smaller model then we do have 1b parameter model and then there is also some benchmarking with the corresponding open source model one model is going to be chat model that we have to pick another model is going to be embedding model so let me just check for embedding model over here and here you can see all these sections so because we are interested in the embedding model so instead of all i'm just going to click on embedding and it's only going to give me all the models which is having support for embedding we can sort it out based on the popular and newest i will go ahead with the popular one so that i can get to know which open source model is being used heavily here i can see nomic embed text is coming at the top so let me go over here and this also this model size is 274 mb if you want to run this then you can use this particular command and here you can see all the details and it's specifically written is last context length text encoder that surpasses open ai embedding models performance on short and long context tasks and then there are certain details like how you can run it with the python and javascript library here actually we try to run this with spring ai to get started with olama in spring ai first of all we have to go to this spring initializer and here you have to add all these dependencies so first is going to be spring web for our endpoint Another is going to be Olama. And then at the last of our logging, we can have Lombok. Once you have everything added over here, you can go ahead and generate it. So the code is basically going to be same what we have covered in our chat client. We are still going to have the config controller and service class over here. Only change what we have to do is in the properties. So I will go in the properties and here you can see what exactly we have to enable. We know like even if you don't define it, the default value is going to be true. So defined our open source model, we have to pass our values over here the default is going to be taken mistral for chat options model and we are planning to go with llama 3.2 so i will just take this name llama 3.2 and for embedding model also if you want to know how you can define it then there is a certain sections in spring Air documentation you can click on embedding model api and then you can navigate to llama if you go to the property section then you can see the default embedding model is being used is mistral so what we are going to do in this case like instead of this mistral model we want to use nomic embed text so i will just take this name from here as well and i will just go ahead and try to put it over here now our properties has been defined we have defined open source chat options model over here and then we have also defined our embedding text model and rest of the codes are going to be same so if you go to config we are still going ahead with the simple vector store what we have been doing with our earlier videos we are going to integrate it with the chat client considering it's going to give us access to question answer advisor which we are not going to get it in chat model api so we are going to go ahead with the chat client and as we know like we have to define a bean before we can get started with chat client the ai service is going to be same where we have to read all the data in this big file and then because it's a text file so we are using a text reader and then we have to convert it into a document so we are doing this text reader dot get because this file contains 16k in tokens and we won't be able to pass it in one go so we have to split it out and for that we are using token text splitter and then ultimately adding it into a vector store everything is same what we have covered in our last video nothing new 
view over here and at the last we are going to define our controller and in the controller you can see we are going to auto wear our chat client and using this chat client only we are going to pass our advisors which is going to give us access to this question answer advisor and then actually we can pass a message as a user and then we are calling this call method and ultimately the content method which is going to give us a string so the only change over here is in the properties file let me just go ahead and try to run this code now this application is up and running so i'm in my postman now i will try to hit this endpoint and see uh, what happens and we have got 500 internal server error so let me go to my code and see where is the gap so the thing is with the open source model you have to download it first it should be available on your local machine before actually you can run your command so we have just defined the model over here but it's not able to get it automatically so first of all you have to have this Olama installed on your system so if you don't have it you can just download it once you download it it's going to be reflected into your system just like this and you have to open it out so once you open it out it's going to have the icon like this if you are able to see this icon it means the Olama has been installed installed into your system once it is installed into your system you have to go to your command prompt whatever model you are trying to run it in your system you have to first pull it out and make it available on your local machine here we are using two models one is chat model which is llama 3.2 and another is embedding model we have to pull both model on our local machine first thing actually what i'm going to do is just going to see okay what model i have it over here so i can fire this command llama list and it's going to give me the model which is available over here so the first is mistral latest and then llama 3.1 you can either run this command llama pull and then model and then run it you can just directly put this command llama run and then model in it will pull and run it so in this case it will pull the model and then run it afterwards automatically so first what we have to do is go for llama 3.2 and now it's pulling that particular model so you can see it pulling this 2 gb model which is llama 3.23 b version because as we have seen in the documentation it was the default model so we have to wait now let me see whether this particular model has been listed out or not so there is still some problem i will just try to run it again and this time i have got a success and if i want to test this model out then i can pass a message so please write a story in 10 words and you can see like i'm able to get a response from this model so it means this model is available now let me just come out of it so i will just press ctrl d and i'm out of it now let me just try to run this command again and i can see the 3.2 latest model is available now i have to install another model which is going to be embedding one i'm just going to take name from here only again go over here and then we'll run it this model size is 274 mb so it's going to get installed very soon this is the embedding model so this doesn't support chat so that's why it's giving that error what you can do on a safer side like if you don't want to see this error then you can just run olama pull this particular model ultimately i just wanted to see whether it has been downloaded as well or not and i can see this particular model has been downloaded as well i can just take on uh, this name once more and put it over here and we'll try to rerun this so again my application is up and running i would just go ahead once more on the postman and we'll try to hit this endpoint and this time it's sending request so i would go to my console again in this case it has started processing now as we have seen in our earlier video uh, this text splitter is going to split our document into 21 chunks and then for all these chunks the embedding model is going to come into picture in this case the embedding model is our open source model so it's going to take all those chunks and then convert it into embedding when we are using the open ai embedding model the model processing was quite fast it was able to embed all these models very quickly in the open source model you could see some lag but it's still the advantage is you do not have to pass any open ai key or all these models are on your machine and then you can just use it without any charge so that's the advantage the only disadvantage is this open source model can take some time to give you the response instead of this embedding model if you are going ahead with any other embedding model which is lower in the rank you would probably see this embedding is going to take more time we just have to see whether this has been completed or not is still going on Okay, so the embedding has been completed. 
even the embedding was completed after that the model was taking its own time to give us a response ultimately actually we have got a response over here in total it took like 4 minute and 51 seconds to generate a response on this particular query so in this time two things happened one is text got converted into embeddings and after that model was taking its time to generate a response now if you compare it with the open ai model then you could see like okay these open source models are taking much more time to generate a response if you see the response we have got this kind of response and this response is a bit different what we have got from OpenAI. As a next step, you can also try to use chat model instead of chat client and we already have a video for that how to utilize chat model API and build a RIAG application on top of it and you can evaluate the response what you are going to get from there. That's all what we have in this video. Thank you for watching.